storm. What happened out there? Bloody hell. He finished the ritual from the volcano, then. Elias. That's the man who summoned Lilith. You're saying he summoned a lesser evil, too? Keep up, girl. Is Andariel gone? Yes. And Elias? He fled. Before going to the steppes, Elias came to Hawazar. Took something that wasn't his. It's why I'm hunting him. I have a friend in Hawazar who has mastered the art of immortality. She might know his secret. Let me take you to her. I thought we were after Lilith, not Elias. Finding him may lead to her. And while we look for him, you'll have time to work on the stone. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Ah, damn it, I'll bite. On one of those rare occasions you gave me good advice. You said the answers you need are often in the place you least want to look. It was you who said that. Ah, you're right. <laughs> Let's get the horses ready. Listen, I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, you did well. You stood against Andario, a lesser evil, and lived. That's no ordinary feat. But don't let it go to your head. The arrogance and foolhardy never last long in Hawazar. I wonder what old Deckard Cain would have written in his chronicles if he had seen us. Two old friends reunited. New allies eager to learn from our vast knowledge, bound as one against the encroaching darkness, like the Haradrim of old. <laughs> they were probably lost and bitter, just like us. But Cain had a gift for seeing one thing was certain, at least. Lilith meant to devour Mephisto and claim his power as her own. Had that been her goal all along? Not sanctuary, but a bid to reign in hell. And Elias, the damned fool, was too blind to see it. Perhaps we weren't perfect, but we knew we had to make a stand. We were the world's only hope.